Okay, I'm gonna try out throwing some more hair. Um, what was your very first drawing? Do you still keep it? <laughs> I don't know. Probably some form of animal. I love drawing animals a lot. Um, I went through a stage where I could not draw animals at all and now I'm back into drawing them again. Um, but uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I have no idea what my first drawing is, and uh, I could ask my mum, and she probably wouldn't know either. It was probably a cat, knowing me. I, I love cats, so yeah, I, I think that's going to be my answer <laughs> to that one. Um, what inspires you when you work on each drawing? What music do you listen to? Well, I've answered that one already. Um, what inspires me? <sighs> Lots of things. Um, I, I look around on DeviantArt quite a lot because there are many, many great artists on the website who inspire me to do a lot of drawing. Um, I like to look through a lot of my art books, um, my One Piece Colour Walk art books, <laughs> really great inspiration, um, and all my uh, my Disney ones for past Disney films just sort of, you know, they get the creative juices flowing, or I, I watch, um, you know, I'll watch something on TV, I, I there's so many things that um, inspire me. and. Uh, uh, that that's not just for fan art, even though I draw a lot of that. Um, it, it's also for my original stuff as well. Um, uh, especially when it comes to original stuff like my uh, elemental goddess characters, I find uh, that Day's pink. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to embarrass her, but you know, I, I every time I look at her work, it sort of gets my my urge flowing to do some of my own original characters too and work on more illustrations with them. So I think she's my biggest inspiration with original work. And then uh, fan art is just fan art, you know, I'll see something and go, hey, I'm inspired to draw that. So uh, that's how it works. Um, okay, uh, next one. Here's a couple. Um, what do you say to people who claim fan art is a waste of one's artistic energy? <laughs> that's a very good question. Um, trying to look from the perspective of people who say that, I can understand in a way why some people get very annoyed with fan art, especially in the deviant art sense. I mean, it's very easy for it to constantly pop up on the main page and such. And I do understand the frustration sometimes. In in the same respect, they need to look at it in a way when it comes to the popularity side as much as I hate talking about deviant art popularity. Um, they need to look at it in the respect that, you know, a huge percentage of people who are on deviant art are people who look for fan art. Um, and it's uh, also a case of characters people are familiar with. Um, they, they're drawn to that a lot more. Um, not to say that original art can't be popular. Some of the most popular stuff on DeviantArt is completely original and it's absolutely gorgeous stuff. Um, I don't think fan art is a waste of talent. Um, I, frankly, I like to balance myself out. I mean, I used to be nothing but fan art. I don't know, currently I'm doing so much fan art, I'm trying to get it all out of my system. I just really need to. But um, I, I love working on fan art because it gives me a challenge, especially when you've got a very unique character from something that you're working on. I mean, right now I'm trying to do more Monkey Island fan art so I can learn characters with elongated faces, how to draw them in proportion to their body size because that's something I've struggled with. I've been trying to uh, draw some of the One Piece characters like that as well and it, 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 it trying to get better at that so I can... Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it sort of helps me, you know, I'll, I'll try drawing someone else's character, not like a mimic of the illustration in front of me of that particular character, because I want to try and uh, do it as a tribute um, to the art that I'm looking at, or whatever I'm basing the fan art on. But uh, I, I do find that it has helped me in a way, just to... Um, try out new things and then I can take elements of that into my own work. I don't know if people even see that, probably sitting here going, oh, oh you're uh, completely making this up, you know, you, there's no originality in your works, which, you know, fair enough. I've still got a lot of work to go and I've got a lot of improvement to do, but uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's a waste of talent like people say, um, but, uh, you know, everyone has their opinions and not everyone's going to like fan art, which is fair enough, you don't have to. Um, and yeah, <laughs> rambling on about this one for quite a while. Um, the other question is, what do you think of the latest One Piece chapter? Which latest one? Because they're, you know, the the spoilers are out for the current one, and uh, f for me, last week's one, I can barely remember it, because the, uh, the uh, anime episodes right now are going back to some of the crew, so I'm kind of a bit more into the anime episodes right now. As much as I love Luffy and Ace and, uh, you know, all, all these characters that are in the um, current comic pages right now, I, 
I miss the straw hats. I, I miss all the rest of the crew and, you know, I, I'm just sort of uh, a bit more into that right now. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to it. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, very exciting. Um, there's a lot of stuff going around, on right now and it's hard to take it all in. But I am enjoying it very much. I love my One Piece. <laughs> um, okay, next question. I'm actually rather curious to know. Oh, okay, this is a long one. Uh, what your parents are doing in Hong Kong? I thought you were a New Zealand native. Okay, um, I can't really say too much about you know family and such because you know privacy and such. But uh, to, to put it bluntly, family works within the airline industry, so that's why we're constantly hopping around. Which is probably why some people are wondering why uh, one part of the year I'm in New Zealand and the next part of the year I'm in the middle of nowhere or something like that. But um, yeah, at the moment I'm in Hong Kong just for work. Um, this year was sort of like trying to make decisions and decisions failed. I actually had plans to move to somewhere in the UK. Uh, Scotland was a very high priority for me. Um, and uh, then of course, as we all know, there was a global financial crisis and uh, uh, just getting a job over here, because I wanted a job over here to save up more, was incredibly difficult. And uh, I do have work here now, but uh, it was a bit too late because I wanted to move there by the middle of this year. And uh, I've, I've made decisions now to go back to New Zealand and do one more study course. I'm actually going to study uh, captive wild animal management. So guys, I'm training to be a zookeeper. I worked in the zoo uh, in 2008 and just loved it so much. I just want to go back and get fully qualified in that. So um, yeah, that's... Uh, that's um, why, but that's why I'm in Hong Kong right now. Um, but yes, I am a New Zealand native. Uh, for those who can't figure out what I am, I am New Zealand born and raised, but I have an entirely British family. So uh, Kiwi first generation, pretty much. Um, but I was born there and mostly raised in the country, um, aside a few. Uh, Trips to different countries. I've also lived in Fiji, Vanuatu, uh, as well as Hong Kong, so I've been all over the place, but um, I, I am a Kiwi, first and foremost, and I am very proud of that. But uh, yeah, that's why I'm in Hong Kong at the moment, and I am very much a New Zealand native. And uh, um, yeah, I was asked that question by an Australian, funny enough. <laughs> 